Hello guys, my name is Faisal and welcome to another video tutorial on Unity 5. Uh, in today's video, we are going to talk about uh, Ragdoll Physics. Ragdoll Physics is uh, uh, quietly used in nowadays uh, games. Alright, uh, let's get started. Uh, to make a Ragdoll Physics, we uh, need a completely rigged character. I already created it. Um, so let's just open it if you want me to create create a tutorial on how to create a completely rigged character for uh, ragdoll physics just let me know in comments and i'll just do it all right but for now we'll uh, do it with this completely rigged character the flash all right uh, here you can see i've already rigged it this is completely rigged our fingers and all uh, bones all are rigged uh, <clears throat> here you can see uh, perfectly weight painted uh, and really gonna import this in unity and configure this so that we can use it as uh, our ragdoll all right let's close it I have imported it inside my unity just let me show you this ragdoll physics tutorial all right so we are inside the unity uh, let's open up our model here it is let's drag it in It's really big. Just let's uh, make it a little bit smaller so that it can make sense. All right. A little bit down here. All right. Now. Uh, for making this as a ragdoll, we need to uh, configure its uh, uh, rig. So let's configure this. Go to your asset where you use your original assets and turn your uh, generic to humanoid animation type. This will help us help Unity to uh, automatically gain humanoid shape or uh, features inside you can see all bones are in green so, uh, it means my uh, rig is perfect all right now let's start making ragdoll go your game object by selecting your as uh, asset 3d object and select ragdoll all right now this is the tricky part you can see the whole bunch of stuff here uh, what we're gonna do is uh, assign bones uh, just uh, let me explain better <clears throat> uh, sorry uh, I'm sick a little bit today just let me explain you better by opening a model All right. Okay, uh, this window is not popping up. All right. So, okay we'll do it anyway uh, all right you can see here the pelvis bone I have the pelvis bone name which bone is it let me show you the bone here right here uh, maybe up here wait a minute the bone which is in the middle one of this middle of those thigh is called as the pelvis you can assign 
this one too uh bone as pelvis <laughs> all right let's let just tr simply drag this all right now uh, let's uh the left hips means uh the thigh bone here uh let me show you there's this is uh, right now this is right yes this is left uh, the left bone which covers the thigh is called as the hip bone here this one right we need to assign this in left hips okay let's drag this in All right the left knee knee is the right this one All right, uh, the calf. I named it the calf slash L. Okay, now left foot. Uh, I have it here for dot L. Foot dash L. Sorry. Uh, there it is. This one. Let's try this. And all right. Now we don't uh, need this little one now because we don't have you. All right. Uh, side R. Similarly, the left, the right thigh bone. Get this one. Okay. Just assign it. Okay. Now cough. Then the knee bone and then foot bone. Um, okay. Now left arm, let's find our arm bone. Maybe in the spine. Okay, spine two, spine three, here. It's the upper arm. Yes, we have it. Now, which bone we have to assign it? Let me show you. Left arm. Uh, Try this up. This one. This bone is the uh, left arm bone. We need to assign here left arm. Strike this, and then left elbow. Here we have lower arms dash L. This one. This one is lower arm dash L. Strike this inside it. All right. Now, similarly, the right arm, upper arm, dash R, right, lower arm, dash R, right. Now, middle spine. This is the same bone in the middle of these uh, this upper up upper bone at the pelvis this one this one there you need to assign this Let's assign this All right and in the head in again this is the head Let's, let me show you here yeah, this is this tiny one which controls the head the head only not this uh, neck the head all right let's drag this in all right now it is done uh, you really don't want to mess with these stuff hit create and now let's test our ragdoll all uh, wait a minute first we need to set up our camera in the front here so that you can see it Clearly, rotate it. Yes. All right. Uh, let's hit play button. 
you can see that it's reacting like a rag doll now let's uh, check if the head is yep head is not perfect as I suspected um, we'll fix it later <laughs> now let's oops just set up our viewport in the right position so that we can see everything clearly right. it falls down as a doll but it hurts is like spinning right we're gonna fix this but first let's check let's have some fun all right this ragdoll is will react with any uh, object with a rigid body and a collider. Let's play with it. Let's test this. Alright. Let's go and check this out. How it will react colliding sphere. Oh, yeah. What happened to its head? Oh, oh my God! You can see. Uh, it's disappearing because of my uh, memory is a little bit low. When I zoom in much, uh, when the game is in play mode and switch back to scene view and uh, zoom into the character, it will dis disappear. This is. Uh, because of my low memory let's fix the head now uh, we need to just uh, increase the size of the collider of uh, head the size is uh, really really small come on yes increase it move it a little bit upward Come on, it's up. Yeah, this is okay. Alright, let's hit the play button. Let's check this out. Okay. Let's uh, check if the head is fixed or not. Yeah, I think it's good. And it's not it's not now going under the uh, ground all right this is it looks uh, pretty good a dead body of uh, the flash all right here yeah. oh my god this is really dead oh 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 Hey, the dead man. He's not now as fast as man alive. He's the fastest man dead. <laughs> the dead body of Flash. Right. <laughs> All right. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.